Hello my lovely crafters, this is Crafty Sue 519 welcome to my channel. And today is my Saturday Mishmash. I'd like to thank all of my subbies for returning and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate that. And to any of you who may be new, welcome, welcome, and I hope you enjoy it here. Alrighty, what do I have for you today? I have Happy Mail. I have two makes, and I have hauls from different places and different kinds of things. So let's get started because I'm freezing and I really try hard not to make these take too long, but I always do. Sorry about that. Alrighty, so my first happy mail comes from Isabel and she's the shabby hippie, hippie here on YouTube. And she sent me this beautiful snowman card. And I got this, oh gosh, I think I got it after I did my Saturday Mishmash last week. I had to wait a whole week before I did it because I didn't do any other videos this week. But, and she says, Dear Sue, I hope this little snowman looking at the pink butterfly brings you joy. I knew you loved snowmen and butterflies. How sweet is that? I wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Your friend, Isabel the Shabby Hippie. And look how cute. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Isabel. I so appreciate that. And she sent me this little envelope that she made. And she put some little die cuts in here. We have these. And we have beautiful snowflakes. Look at that. Probably and these blue ones are just gorgeous. What pretty, pretty glitter paper that is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love that. Love that. Love that. We'll definitely be using those. I think that's it. Oh, it's a little tiny snowflake. Wait, hold, hold on. Can't forget. Oh, another one, another red one. Love it. Thank you so much, Isabel. I really, really appreciate it. And I love my snowman card with the butterfly. How cute is that? I love it. Okay. And my other one I got from Melissa Davis. And Melissa's envelope is just full of butterflies. Butterfly here, and this is her foxy butterfly. Um, address label. Isabel also had the butterfly stamp. How come I don't have butterfly stamps? I have to see if I can find some. Anyhow, I got this yesterday. Look how pretty this is. It says, tis the season. I love this caroler and the old fashioned light. So pretty, so pretty. And it opens like this. See the side? So it stands up like this. Oh, I love it. Love it. It's beautiful. And the note is on the back. I didn't know at first when I opened it up, it was like this. So I thought this was just a sticky paper and I'm trying to take it off. I'm going, what the heck? And then I figured it out. And she put her name at the bottom, Mimi 2022. Dearest friend, I am wishing... A very Merry Christmas and a splendid New Year. Hugs and love, Melissa. Oh, I love Melissa. Melissa, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. I love this. I absolutely love this. And all my Christmas cards will stay hung and out for a very long time. I left my birthday cards out for over six months. So who knows <laughs> when I'll take down the... Christmas cards, because I, I just love having cards hanging in my craft room. All right, let's do a couple little hauls. Um, this I normally wouldn't show you because it's nothing exciting. It's just blank index cards. But I just wanted to remind you that if you're making cards and you're using a colored card base and you need to put something in the center, instead of using up all of your card stock, 
Using a blank index card works perfectly. They're four by six, so all you have to do is cut a little bit off the bottom. The four inches is perfect to fit in an A2 size. I did show this before on one of my crafty hacks and uh, works perfectly. 300 of them in here and I forget what I paid for it, around $4, I think. A lot better. 300 cards I can do with that. Unbelievable. Awesome, awesome. Then, because I'm nosy and I like to read these kinds of things, I bought a book. <laughs> Prince Harry Spare. Yep, I did. I wasn't going to at first, but I caved. I caved. I am addicted to British royalty. I have been for many, many years, a lot of years. From way back from Henry VIII to now, I just love British royalty history. So have to read this, have to read this. Um, see how I feel at the end of the book. If I uh, feel the same way I do right now about Harry and Meghan or even William and Kate, who knows, who knows? All right, that's one little, another little thing I bought. I went to Michael's and of course I bought some yarn. I bought some yarn, it was on sale, regularly $8, this was $3, I love it. It is what's called a chain spun yarn so you don't have different, I don't have any other yarn here. Maybe I have a tiny piece. This is regular yarn, which can unravel very easily because it's just, it's just strands that are twisted together. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. They're just twisted so they can come apart. And sometimes when you're crocheting, it can get a little, fussy but this is chain spun and it's spun like a chain and you're not going to be able to see this I'm sure but this does not unravel doesn't I can go like crazy spinning this around and it's not it's like a chain I mean it's awesome it's the first chain spun yarn I've ever bought and I love it so I had to try it out and I bought this because it has mainly blues in it. And I'm starting to make hats for the Hat Not Hate program that I donate to every year. So I made this hat. Isn't that pretty with this yarn? So I bought four of these. Isn't that pretty? I love this. I love how that looks. Love how that looks. And they had this color. And I bought one just to buy because it's green and green. It's my favorite color. Don't know what I'll do with it, but had to have it. And then they had out their new Karen cakes. They're called Blossom Cakes by Yon, Yon Inspirations. And this is expensive, $12.99. But you get, let me see, 481 yards. So I can get three or four hats out of this. And I wish you could feel it so soft so soft and this also is a chain spun yarn so now that i made this first hat with a chain spun i know i'm gonna love making more with this one and i get a little tired of doing just solid color blues and we can use variegated and ombres so i think i'm gonna get into a lot more of those color hats this year than i normally would do so that was that, and then kept walking by. Well, first off, I bought some little Velcro dots, the little tiny ones. like to have them on hand. I still have a few, but I've used some, so just stock up on that. I kept walking by their Valentine's section. I'm not big on Valentine's, but I thought maybe... Maybe I'll want to make some Valentine cards this year. And they had, I didn't want six, I mean, 12 by 12 pads. Just didn't want that. But they had two six by six pads. So I bought them. <laughs> and I'm, let me see here. 
I don't want to. I'm trying so hard to be better about time, but I'm at nine, almost ten minutes already. I have to pull out my biggest scissors to open this, right? So let me flip through this so you can see. I've got solids, which is cool. And it's cute and it's double sided. How cute that is. Those little candy hearts that you always used to get in those little boxes. I love this. I love that. So cute paper, I think. I like that they have solids to match on the opposite side. Pretty stripe. So that's the first pad. Little blue hearts. In case you're feeling blue on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. I don't want to wreck my new paper though. Sue, so get small scissors. There we go. That's one. I haven't even looked at these yet. I bought them several days ago. Oh, look. Pretty. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. XOXO. Nice stripe. This one's not double sided. Ooh, some more. Oh, nice silver. Hearts. Oh, I see more. Oh, this is a cool pad. Look at that. It's like a really thick vellum. Almost a uh, acetate. Gold. Nice. Ooh, ooh, a lot of gold. Cute little pink hearts. Little pink hearts. Here we go. More of this. Oh, look at that. I had no clue when I bought this. But it would be like this. Oh, I love it. Look at it. You see? It's either a thick vellum or a thin acetate, but very cool. And look at mirror paper. I love it. Oh my gosh. I probably would have bought two of these if I had known it had all this stuff in it. I just saw six by six and grabbed and ran. Oh, this is very cute. Very cute. Love it. So these were at Michael's, not on sale. But I did have a 20% off coupon, so used that. And then I picked up a little pack of ephemera. I'm not going to open this up and take up your time, but it seemed to have, they had two different packs of ephemera. And this one seemed to be one I would like better and be able to use more so than the other one. Here you go, there's some pictures of what was in there. And that's that, that was my Michaels haul. And one other make for you. And it's this little box. Now, this is the front. It's hard to show a box on camera that you can see. Unless I take the camera down, and I don't want to do that. So I made this little box, and it looks flimsy, and I'll show you why. And on the side, I just put a little bow, and I made this little heart tag. And you could put to and from on the back of it if you like. And of course, I had to put a butterfly charm to go with it. And I put a couple of little butterflies here, hard to see, I know. Let me see if I can catch the light. There you go. Two little butterflies here. Handle is not necessary. If you want to put one on, you put one on. If you don't, you don't. I put a little bling on the side to look like hardware. Closes with Velcro, those little Velcro dots I just bought. And on the inside are six pockets that you can put goodies in and send to someone. Isn't that awesome? Love this. I saw this on um, Sam's channel. What the heck is her channel name? Oof, I forget. I forget. If I, uh, I'll put it in the description below because I'm drawing a blank. But I love this. What a great idea to send somebody something, right? 
cute. You can put um, pattern paper on the envelopes if you like, but I didn't. I didn't think it was necessary. And then it just closes up. Oops, make sure I get it even. And if you didn't put this on it, it folds flat. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? It won't fold flat when you fill it full of goodies to send somebody, but storage wise, if you want to make a few and put them aside, easy to do, easy to do. So hope you like my little box full of envelopes to, to send someone. And the last thing I bought was from eBay. Now, if you remember, I think it was last week I showed you my Chucky tool that I made. Well, I thought, how many people use a Misty or some other kind of stamping platform? And you have to push with your hands to make sure that stamp gets on there well. And sometimes you have to pick it up, put more ink, stamp again, especially on sentiments. So that's what a Chucky tool is used for. Instead of having to use your hand, you just use this to apply pressure. And it's so much easier. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I made mine with a Yankee candle top. And I filled it with sequins and my favorite colors, pink and green. And I put some white pearls in it. I love this. I absolutely love this. And it's so pretty with, with the sequins. I've seen other people make them where they paint the inside or they um, put glue and then glitter on the inside and leave it empty. I like a little bit of extra weight. And not that sequins add a ton of weight, but they add some. So I decided... I want to make more of these and try to sell them. So I don't know. Tell me if you think it's a good idea or not to make and sell these. But I bought this big box on Amazon. Now I looked. Etsy had some jaw covers. I forget. They were inexpensive, like a dollar and change, not very much money, but but they wanted five dollars to ship one cover. One cover. I found this deal on it's on eBay for nine jar covers. Nine jar covers with shipping was twenty dollars. So I thought that was an incredible deal. So I hopped on that one right away. It's the only one I saw on eBay. And her packaging, this woman that I bought it from, her packaging is incredible. I had it in just a couple of days. What a fantastic find. So let me know if you think it would be a good idea to make and sell these. Um, I'm, I'm struggling with a price. I'm thinking for what it costs me for the jaw cover, all of the sequins that go in here, and there are a lot of sequins that has to go in here to fill it. Um, the the um, pad on the bottom, I'm thinking around $15 without shipping. I don't know. I've been told that's not enough. I don't know, I'm thinking, but I'd like some feedback on that. Would you be interested in something like this? I will offer them here on um, YouTube when I get them made and um, let me know if you think you'd be interested if you're a stamper if you like to stamp items and you use a stamping um, tool like a Misty or a Stamparatus from Stamping Up or whatever if you think you'd, it works so good and you know the other day I was doing something and I took I just grabbed it and I creased paper with it and it worked so good <laughs> I love it Love it, love it, love it. One of my favorite new tools. All right, that's it. That's all I have. I'm freezing. My hands are like ice. It's only in the 40s here in Florida, which is really cold for us because it's like 50 degrees colder than what we're used to. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. And as always, until next time, love you.
Bye.